Hey y'all, I want to create something that would help you guys out with us doing more DMAC online testing next year. So this tutorial is gonna show you how the mail merge works, but this is what the outcome is going to be. Each student will have their own little square so you can print it out on cardstock or however you wanna print it and then cut them out and hand them to students. I'm gonna show you what this looks like when we're all done. But to begin, we have to start with DMAC. So I've gone into DMAC and I'm gonna go into utilities. You'll see this, so this is what you're going to see. Um, you can export everybody, but I think it's a little easier if you do it by class so that each set is by your class and so you don't have to separate, you know, first period, second period, or AM and PM. So, um, but you can do it however you want. You can do everybody or you can do one individual class. I'm going to demonstrate with one individual class. I'm going to click that little icon and you'll see that it downloaded this spreadsheet on the bottom left corner. So when I open that spreadsheet, you're going to see this right here. Uh, the only information you need is from row six down. So this information, I'm gonna click on row one and drag to highlight, and then I'm gonna right click and delete because I don't need that information. Next, I'm gonna name this whatever you wanna name it. I suggest naming it uh, whatever class period it is or if it's AM and PM class. So I'm just gonna put first period and I have to change it from a CSV file to an Excel workbook. So click on the drop down and select Excel workbook and then click save. Next, you can close this out and then you're going to open up this template that I have here. So I'll be sharing this with you as well, but you're going to open this template, click on mailings and you're going to select recipients. That means where is the data going to come from? So I'm going to select use an existing list and I'm gonna find that spreadsheet that I just downloaded. So you need to know where you saved it in order to access it. So here's my first period. I select it and I choose open. So it's just giving the Excel spreadsheet an opportunity to talk to your Microsoft Word file. This comes up saying, is this what you wanna pull from? You click okay. And now the two pieces of data are talking and now I'm ready to do my list. So I've already matched up my um, like last name and first name and so that it'll know how to grab the information. You shouldn't have to do anything more other than you can take a look here where it says preview results and it will show you students' names and information. So that gives you a preview of what it looks like. The next thing you're going to do is click finish and merge and you wanna be able to print the documents. You wanna make sure you print all the records and click OK. So here you don't have to change anything, just click OK. And then I like to change it to a PDF because I don't wanna print it until I see the final outcome. And so I'm gonna click on my drop down for printers and you will have one that says save as PDF. Here's mine, it might say save as PDF, mine saying Microsoft print to PDF. Either way, you're wanting to print it to it as a PDF. Click okay. It says, where do you wanna save it? So I'm gonna identify where I wanna save it. I'm gonna give it a name. First period is what I wanna name it and click save. And so it should be done. So now I'm gonna go into where I saved it. And right here is where it's at. See the PDF, the little red? And if you look over here, it says PDF as well. I'm gonna double click to open. And then I can see all of my students' names and the information I need for them to access it. So then you would print this on cardstock or however you wanna print it and cut it out for your students. And you would repeat this process for your other classes.